So, Buck, first of all, congratulations. And I know you, you've spoken about the honor being a humbling one, and it's the fourth time you've won Manager of the Year. Why does it mean so much to you to, to win this award again? Well, I, I think it uh, it's kind of such an organizational recognition of uh, the players and the front office and the fans. You know, people, everything that goes into it, this, the, the atmosphere that they created at the park for guys to – you know, to be successful, um, I think everybody should take pride in the recognition the organization got um, from the season, and it just makes you that much more, um, you know, enthused to get it done again and get a chance to roll the dice again in October because nobody's happy about the way the season ended. But, uh, um, you know, I don't think uh, you know, I've got heard from a lot of players, and, and it's uh, I think they take a lot of pride in it too. You mentioned hearing from a lot of players, and certainly there were a lot of players that publicly voiced how happy they were yesterday as well for you. I know you talk often about making an impact on people's lives and, and things of that nature when you talk about what, what you love about managing and coaching. Why do you think that you've been able to connect in, in such a genuine way with players over the years like you have? How many times did I play Francisco Lindor's daughter's thing last night that that uh, we actually uh i hooked up with him facetime uh right afterwards they were looked like they were eating chicken nuggets <laughs> or something but uh you could tell francisco was enjoying the off season i don't know I, I think you evolve and you realize you're not getting out of this alive and you try to keep people from making the mistakes that we all made along the way and uh sometimes the, the end game's not you know right in front of you and it's kind of painful to get there but uh you know when you go through the thing seven days a week grind I think uh, players and everybody sniffs out the phoniness mm -hmm. and, and the reality comes through that, you know, who really cares and who really has a pure heart. Edwin Diaz, we all saw what he accomplished this year individually. Uh, organization wasted no time in signing him back to a record contract. Why was he, aside from the obvious, just in terms of what we saw production-wise, why was he such an important target to get wrapped up as quickly as, as you guys felt you had to do? Well, Edwin's a guy that one wanted to be here. Mm -hmm. He was very adamant about it, and all things being equal, and uh, our ownership allowed all things to be equal, and maybe then some. I don't know what would have been out there, but who knows? Maybe, maybe we got a deal. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But he, uh, when you return from where he was, when you had failure, and you return and have the success he had, and I think our fans fed off of that. They know uh, the toughness. They respect that toughness it takes to come through that. Usually you don't want to go back there again. And then physically, you know, we did our homework on him, but he uh, – and, and we've had him. We know that he hasn't been abused physically, and we know that we're getting a guy that should be healthy. Who knows what's going to happen. But I, I think what was – what was we were drawn to him was the fact that he has shown the toughness to pitch in New York and mm -hmm. come back from things. Because it's not – that's what I like about Ottavano. You know, Otto's the guy that understands New York. He gets – he got – He'd have an outing. It wasn't particularly aesthetically pleasing, but it wouldn't it wouldn't snowball. And you got to have that toughness to pitch here. So you mentioned Adovino, and, and he's one of many free agents that you guys have now and have to make a decision on. The number one in terms of public interest is is Jacob Degrom. I guess from your perspective, how much do you communicate directly with the player? How much are you a part of whatever negotiations discussions are going on right now? with a guy like Jake? Well, we're not really allowed to legally. I mean, it's it's kind of once they hit the free agency, they, they try to go through the certain avenues. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'd love to talk to them if, at any point. But, uh, you know, they've worked very hard to get a chance to in their careers to have these decisions to make. And, and you know, I'm respectful of that. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, sometimes some business things come into play uh, as much as you like the player. We'd love to have Jake. We'd love to have Nim. We'd love to have all these guys, Otto, all the guys we talk about. But... At some point, uh, if they're able to get some things that uh, that we're not willing to go to, then you're going to you know, the season won't stop, mm -hmm. and you're going to have to you know have Plan B. So, you know, I think most all the guys would love to come back here. Uh, it's just a matter of if you know at what at what point do you are you not able to do it? Well, I'll finish by asking about Nimmo, who you just mentioned. Um, what your expectation was going into spring training? versus what you saw and got to know over the course of a full year. Just how impactful of a player was he? And 
I guess overall, what was your takeaway from a full season with Brandon Nimmo? I think Brandon was just he really turned into a dependable player. I always liked the way he played. I liked him from afar, but seeing him every day and what he brought and the things that his teammates and, and his organization could count on. Um, he just uh, he, he didn't ever say, hey, is, is Brandon in a bad mood today? Is he having a down day? Is it, you know, woe is me day? He didn't have it. He refused to. And, and if something wasn't right, he worked on it. And I don't have anything else to compare it with before I got here. I just know that he's grown as a player and a guy that you can count on. And I hope it's here. Uh, and, I, you know, the type of guys you pull for. And uh, you'd love to see him have his whole career here. And we'll just see if the industry and and his group, so to speak, feel like that's in the cards.